Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a special word for you guys today and I do believe this is a word for the month of April because today is April 1st and I got this word this morning by way of Holy Spirit and through a dream. So this is for God's chosen ones. He also gave you guys a name, a name that he gave me that spoke life into me and I'm adopting it, adopting it to you guys because he also wants me to call you guys God's hidden gem. And the reason why is that because we don't realize how special we are to God. We don't realize the power and authority that we have. But God also placed me in this opportunity to recognize how I was his hidden gem. And now he wants me to promote love, forgiveness, and um, healing. To, to encourage people to live life through God's lens. Start living their lives through God's lens. So I love that name. I was like, okay, I like it. God's hidden gem for his chosen ones. So... I hope you guys, you know, ink graph that name as well, but I have a word for you guys today and it is on the topic of no more setbacks or delays in the name of Jesus. So this is a word of encouragement that um, is for the month of April. I'm super excited about this because I don't think too many people talk about how to recognize these things. And I think the importance to, I think an important thing to know is how to know if you are in a uh, state of setback or delays, what that looks like and how to recognize it. I think it'll be easier for us to combat, combat it and pray against it. So I'm gonna look down here because I have notes and the foundation of this message was built on a dream that God actually gave me this morning as I was waking up. And so in this dream, um, I was provoked into a fight. It was like my family against another family. It was like no real reason why we were like in at odds against each other. It was just like they would come and try to provoke us when we didn't engage, they would leave and then other parts of the family, like different people from the family would come in and engage. There was people like around sitting there and they weren't really doing nothing. So I would look around, I'm like, what's going on? Like this is something just felt strange. It felt like it was like felt like a setup almost. But it just felt strange. There's one thing that I noticed as the dream kept going on that it was up to me to start this fight it was up to me to take the to, to throw the first punch or to start the, the fight slash war that they were trying to provoke us to do they couldn't do nothing unless we made the, the first move so and so every time we denied them the, the the attacks that they tried to come on us they would leave and other people other family members would come to try and provoke us as well but they couldn't do nothing unless we were the ones that did the through the first punch per se when I woke up, I began to pray um, because the dreams had a lot of red flags. I had something similar, not with this family context, but in the manner of what I'm discussing today. I had similar things happening. It was it read some red, red flags in my in my mind. So I woke up and I began to pray. Holy Spirit led me to a minister named Kevin L. A. U. E. Check him out on on YouTube. Um, his name is Minister Kevin. I'm gonna put him on here. Um, L. A. U. E. And God led me to one of his excerpts that he had just recently wrote like a few hours before I woke up and before I saw it on YouTube. And he talked about the spirit of setback and delay. And this is how he broke it down. So he said also just a little more um, intel. This dream also took place in my old childhood home that I grew up in. That's going to be key and that's going to be something important for you guys as well. So this is how he broke it down. He said when you have a dream about an old house or old, a person of the past or even when you are when you feel like you start something and you can't seem to get past a certain point or you feel like you reach a certain point in life and you just can't get past that point either. That is a sign that the spirit of setback and, and delay is upon you dreams are a way that evil spirits can come into agreement with the devil's plan to delay your destiny and make you feel stagnant in life so just like in my dream where the, i was being provoked they wanted me to fight instead of them throwing the first punch it was only because i was the only one that could activate that plan that they were trying to entice and provoke me to come into agreement with i was the only one that had the authority to throw the first throw the first punch me throwing the first punch is me coming to agreement with that assignment and that delay that these evil spirits were sent out to try and put upon me by the, um from the devil and the reason why they could not um engage um because there's also rules in the spiritual realm too just like there's rules in the physical world there's also rules in the spiritual realm and nothing can come 
um, manifest in the physical unless it manifests in spiritual first. So we have to come into agreement with these things that that come in, that is introduced into our life for the them, for them to take physical manifestation in our life. So even if some if some of you are experiencing um, setbacks and delays in your life, I think it's important that you guys also reflect back to a point or even pray and ask God to reveal any areas in your life where you have come into agreement with setbacks and delays as well. But we'll get more into details with that. So getting into further details about. Um, just going further into this, as I was um, reflecting with Holy Spirit, he showed me the importance of this dream. And also he showed me how the, the family members that were with me, even though they look like my family members, like I saw my cousins, I saw people that I was familiar with in my family. He was showing me that these people represent the angels of the Lord's army. They was ready to like combat for me, fight for me, defend me. They had my back to the T. And I know that God used family because that was something that gave me comfort. Like, okay, my family got my back. But when I woke up and I was in prayer, Holy Spirit revealed to me, like, these were the angels of the Lord's army ready to combat. Um, if I was through the first punch, they was ready to go to war for me. And um, I was like, wow, okay. And the reason why I know that it did not happen is because I was not... Uh, as I woke up my spirit just didn't something just didn't feel right I'm like I'm not about to fight for no reason like I felt that in my dream I'm like I'm not about to fight these people for no reason they had they literally I did not know why we were fighting in the dream but they were just literally provoking me as as hard as they could but I'm just like I'm not fighting you like I don't see the point of fighting you so that was just like a key point like oh okay god you have my back even though i probably would have made i could have had i had the option to make the wrong mistake i did not because in my spirit i felt like nah there's no point in me fighting them but god showed me that the angel of the lord army was there to to back me up because lately when those people were, pro were provoking me they were also provoking them like okay so what like what's up you know how people you know family members square up they're like so what's up what's up so that's how they were um, in the dream for me. Like the people, family members that was trying to provoke us was like, what's up? They was like, what's up? Like what y'all want to do type thing. But that was also a representation that that was, that was God having my back. No. So I also, so this is something else the Holy Spirit gave me. And I think that this is the exciting part that we can all hold on to and also understand that God is very articulate. He's very smart with the things that he do. He's allowed, he allow us to be tempted to a certain extent, not anything beyond what we can handle, but what our temptations allow us to be tempted with. And so this is also a message saying that there's also a sign showing that there's a spiritual blessing that God has released in the spiritual realm that is trying to make its way to you physically. But when, they, when, that, when that blessing got released, that raised a red flag to the enemy, like, uh-uh, I can't allow her to get to this. I can't allow her to have this because when she get this, she's going to she's gonna wake up and realize who she is. She's going to wake up and start living life how she's supposed to live, he or she. She's going to wake up and, you know, realize that she has a power and authority over me. Oh, no, I can't have that. So let me send out something that's going to set her back. Let me send out something that's going to give her delay in the things that she has started or make her feel like she's not worthy enough to receive these blessings in her life because of the circumstances that are stacked up against her now y'all have to be privy to the way the dead of the devil works because he will try and be so sneaky so conniving that's just that's just part of his agenda to manipulate and deceit as many people as possible so i want you guys to know that it is important to pray against the spirit of delay and setback in the name of jesus because there is no greater name than jesus there is no greater name than these jesus that breaks the that breaks the assignment of these evil spirits trying to delay your destiny so today for the month of april i want to encourage you guys to also pray a psalms 91 prayer over your lives over your children's life over your husband's life if you have them pray a, a psalms 91 prayer for the entire month of april i also want you guys to know that just like john 10 and 10 said that there's a thief that comes but that comes not but for to steal to kill and to destroy i am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly more abundantly for the month of april because i think it's important that as we start recognizing these these spirits of setbacks and delays that are trying to trap us in our lives also recognize that that means that they see something as well they see something that they're trying to prevent us from having and i want you guys to know that you have the right to claim what is rightfully yours you have the right to want what is rightfully yours. Stop letting Satan punk you. So going into this month, we're not letting Satan punk us, okay? Punking us into thinking that we're not worthy of the blessing that is coming our way. If God released it to you, that means you're worthy to have it. 
if you're being receiving incl inclinations and revelations and different desires, that means God is giving you something that he is giving you something that's a piece of him that he's released to you. He wants you to have it. So you deserve to have it. And also know that if you weren't worthy of it, Satan wouldn't be messing with you. He only messed with people that he knows, okay, there's 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 a there's something in that person right there. I can't let them see that because if they see that, they gonna know that they're greater than me. And he don't want that. He does not want that. So I want you guys, I'm gonna post a little prayer in my description for the month of April. I pray that you guys also just pray this as often as you can. And the prayer says, Heavenly Father, I am ready to receive everything you have for me. Expand my capacity to receive in Jesus' name. Short, sweet, and simple. A prayer to add to your prayer that you have already for the month of April. And just get in a posture to receive. And to in the mindset of no more delays, no more setbacks in the name of Jesus. Because I want you guys to know going forward, it's important to pay attention to the dreams that you're having. Or the things in your environment that's happening around you. And pay attention for signs that the enemy is trying to set you up for a delay because God has released a blessing on your behalf. I want you guys to be encouraged for the month of April. I love you guys. I love you so much. This word encouraged me. I hope that it encouraged you guys. Until next time, me see out. Peace.